The area of an isosceles trapezium is 176 centimeters squared and the height is 2 11th of the sum of its parallel sides. Right, 2 11th of the sum of its parallel sides. If the ratio of the length of the parallel sides is 4 is to 7, then the length of the diagonal in centimeter is dash. So if the ratio of the length of these two parallel sides is 4 is to 7, then what is the length of the diagonal? Now what do you mean by an isosceles trapezium first of all? I am sure you know the tra trapezium, right? Trapezium is like a, uh, you know, it is like a quadrilateral where only one pair of sides is parallel, right? The other pair of sides is not parallel. Now an isosceles trapezium is the one where, you know, we have a pair of parallel sides and the other two non-parallel sides are equal in length. You understand the meaning of isosceles, right? It is like isosceles triangle. So two sides are equal, right? So here we have a pair of parallel sides, unequal parallel sides and the other two are equal sides. Are you getting it? Well, this does not look like a isosceles trapezium, but I hope all of you have got the point, right? So let us say uh, this is the base, right? Let us say this is A, this is B, the two parallel sides, A is parallel to B and then these two are equal, these two are equal, right? Let us say this is C, okay? So A is parallel to B and then the other two sides are equal. So this is called an isosceles trapezium, right? And what is the diagonal here? The diagonal would be the line joining the two opposite ends. Both the diagonals would be equal by the way in a isosceles trapezium. So what we have to find out is the length of this diagonal, right? What is the length of this diagonal? Remember, you should note the formula, right? You should learn this formula by heart. The diagonal uh, here will be equal to root over AB plus C square. This comes from a theorem called Ptolemy theorem, right? AB plus C square. Now what are A and B? A and B are the two parallel sides. C is this, uh, you know, length of those, one of those two equal sides there. Now, what is given in the question? The question here talks about the area. The area is 176 centimeters square. The height, see height again is this, the distance between the two parallel sides. This is called height, h, okay? The height is 2 11th of the sum of its parallel sides and the ratio between the parallel sides is 4 is to 7, okay? Now, what is the area? Area of a trapezium, area of trapezium is, you know, a plus b by 2, average of the two parallel sides into the height h. Right? But height is given as, according to the question, height is equal to 2 by 11 into a plus b. Yes or no? 2 by 11 into a plus b. So let us substitute this height. Height is given in terms of parallel sides, right? 2 11th of the sum of its parallel sides. So let us substitute this h in this formula here. So what do we get the area as? a plus b by 2 into height is 2 by 11 into a plus b. So 2 and 2 gets cancelled. We are left with what? a plus b whole square divided by 11 equals to, see the area was given as 176, so I can equate this to 176, right? Now simplify from this, what is a plus b? a plus, see 176 uh, can be taken as 16 into 11, right? This is 16 into 11. So overall you get a plus b whole square equals to, you know, 16 into 11 square. So simple uh, calculation is a plus b, take square root on both the sides, right? a plus b will be equal to what? Square root of 16 into 11 square. So square root of 16 is 4. Square root of 11 square is 11, which is 44. So basically, we know that the sum of the two parallel sides is 44. We also know the ratio between the two parallel sides, 4 is to 7, right? A is to B is equal to 4 is to 7. Please cut down the number of steps. I am doing it in detail uh, method here, step by step, so that you follow it clearly. But when you do it yourself in the exam, cut it down, right? Do not write every step on paper. So we know the sum is 44 and the ratio is 4 is to 7. So what are the individual sides from here? See, 4 and 7 is 11 parts, right? So divide 44 into 11 parts each part would be 4. So A will be 16 and B will come out to be 7 into 4, 28, right? I am sure you can do that calculation. So from this we get A is equal to 16 and B equals to 28. A is equal to 16 and B equals to 28. Now, now try and understand the length of this uh, side has to be calculated, right? You have to uh, find out C. You have to find out what is C here, right? Unless you do that, you will not be able to crack it. Because the formula says, I mean, if you remember the short course formula, it is AB plus C square, right? Square root of AB plus C square. Now, how do you get C here? Just substitute these values, whatever A and B we have got. I mean, I'm just clearing it off. We have already understood the diagram and the dimensions here, right? So the base here, A, of course, since, I mean, according to our, this thing, we have taken A as 16 and B as 28, but A is larger here, right? A is bigger than B. 
Anyway, that doesn't matter. We can take this as 28 and this as 16. Now understand, since the two sides are parallel, if I try to divide, I mean, this into three parts like this, the whole figure into three parts, this is a square, right? So 16 will come out here. The remaining 12 has to be balanced equally. So this is 6 and 6. You're getting it? The 28 has been split as 6, 16 and 6, right? And what is the height? Height, achha, height also has to be calculated. What is height? A plus B is given as... What, what do we get? We got A plus B as 44, right? So substitute 44 here, what do we get? 44 by 11, 4 into 2, 8, right? H is equal to 8. H is equal to 8. So this is 8. Now if you take only this portion, this shaded uh, part here, it is like a right angle triangle, right? So the base is 6, the height is 8. So what should be the hypotenuse? It should be 10. You said no, Pythagoras theorem, root over 6 square plus 8 square. So root 100, root 100 is what? 10. So we have got to know that C is equal to 10. C is equal to 10, that's it. So now we can see that the diagonal is equal to, right, the diagonal D. What is the formula? Root over, I mean, just remember this shortcut, AB plus C square. So square root of 16 into 28 plus C square is how much? 10 squared. So how much is 16 into 28? It will be 480 minus... Uh, 32 right so 448 448 458 sorry right sorry mm, 448 448 plus 100 548 right now 548 is 4 into 137 so it can be taken as 2 root 137 Right? Do further simplification, you'll get 2 root 137. I mean, I don't have enough space to write down all the intermediate steps there, but the answer comes out to be 2 root 137. So, option 4 is the correct answer, like what all of you have got, option 4.